This song lesson we are going to talk about three or sound. These are the learner's outcome. Have you ever wondered why do you see lightning flash at a distance first and then you hear the thunder boom like the video that I'm going to show you next? Okay, you have seen the video, you notice that the, you see the lightning before you hear the thunder. Okay, so when there's lightning, it actually creates both the lightning flash and the thunder boom at the same time. However, since the speed of light is much faster than the speed of sound in air, you will see the lightning first, as the sound needs more time to travel from the location where the lightning strike to your location. For our information, the speed of light is about 300,000 meters per second, but uh, the speed of sound is in air is only about 340 meters per second. As you know, sound is actually a form of vibration. So, is there any difference between the speed of sound and the speed of vibration? First, we have to be clear on what do we mean by speed of vibration. Does it mean that speed of vibration of vibrating or speed of vibration traveling? I'll use a simulation to illustrate this idea. So when we talk about speed of vibration, uh, vibrating, sometimes we talk about something like this, okay? You notice that this speed is really slow, okay, as, uh, as it vibrates up and down. Okay, so this is considered to be slow. And if I change the frequency, and I do the same thing, you find that this speed is considered to be fast. So this is what I meant by speed of vibration vibrating. So what do you mean by speed of vibration traveling? So the idea is also very simple. You find that as I give a pulse, you find that the vibration actually travels down the path. Okay, so this is what is meant by the speed of the vibration traveling down. And just for recording purpose, we try to calculate what's the speed of sound, simulator speed of sound in air. Okay, so the distance traveled by the vibration is probably about uh, 90 centimeter, and we would actually check the time. Okay, let's go. Okay, so roughly it tra it the time for it takes is traveling about uh, two point six five seconds and to travel zero point nine meters. Okay, so you can actually work it out. So what we're trying to say is that speed of sound in this case is actually not the speed of vibration vibrating. So it's not about how fast it goes up and down, but rather the speed of sound is the speed of the vibration traveling through the medium. So how fast does it travel across the medium? As mentioned in the previous lesson, sound needs the medium to transmit, and the medium is usually the surrounding air. However, sound can also be transmitted through different state of matter such as solid or liquid. Which state of matter has the fastest speed of sound? Make a guess. Solid, liquid, gas. From fast to slowest. Think about it. Okay, you find that actually the fastest is speed of sound is, is in solid, then the liquid, the last one is in gas. For example, we know that the speed of air is roughly 340 meters per second, but the speed of sound in water is actually 1500 meters per second, and the speed of steel is actually 5000 meters per second. Does it surprise you that in solid and liquid, it has a much faster speed of sound in than air? Solid and liquids are packed much more closer than gas. Shouldn't this, the high density of solid and liquid will obstruct the of transmission of sound, thus lowering the speed of sound? But as shown by the speed, it does not due to the nature of sound. In fact, the high density of the medium helps in the effectiveness of transmission of sound, which increases the speed of sound in solid and liquid. I'll now use an analogy to help you to understand. 
Imagine there's a big hall that has a student inside and I'm at one end of the hall and want to pass a message slip across to the other end of the hall through the students. The rule of passing of the message slip is that the students can only hand over the message slip to the students immediately next to him or her. Do you think that the message slip will be passed down faster if A. The students are not allowed to move but there are many students and they are packed side by side. Or B. There are little students but they are far apart but they are allowed to wander randomly in the hall. The answer is A. Why? If the students are close to each other, it's actually easier to pass the message slip down the hall though they cannot move about. But if the students are far apart, though they can move about randomly, they may take more time to meet each other to pass the message slip to another student. Thus, it is easier to get the message slip across the hall in situation A. So in this analogy, the message slip is sound. Remember that sound is actually a vibration and you can only transmit sound by passing the vibration to the neighboring particles. So if the particles, aka students, are close to each other, it's relatively easier or faster to pass the vibration which is a message to another particle as compared to if the particles are far apart. Thus, this explains why speed of sound is much faster in solid and liquid compared to as in gas. Another point to take note is that without neighboring particle to pass the vibration, sound cannot be transmitted. This is why vacuum prevents the transmission of sound because there's no particle to pass the vibration to in vacuum. So this is end of today's lesson. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.